Believe it or not, your image matters. The way you dress, your haircut, how in shape you are, your facial hair, all of that, it actually does matter. And what's weird is in the modern world, we live in this, I don't know, it's like this bullshit time where the past decade or so, it seems like people are on this, you know, uh, be yourself type of thing. And it's like, no, you need to be your best self, okay? Because some of you guys are out here looking frumpy as hell, clothes are wrinkled, your clothes don't match, your hair is messy, you know, and it, it just, you can see it. You can see it in your face. You can see it in your, the way you walk, you're all slouched. You look like bro. And you need to make sure that you look your best. If you don't believe me, start paying very close attention. Uh, the next time you see a very well-dressed, well-groomed man walking around anywhere, it could be at a cafe. Like let's say you're out getting a cup of coffee and someone who's well-dressed, well-groomed, you know, they're well put together, walks into the cafe. You automatically subconsciously give them a little bit of respect. Right, like something inside your body knows to respect him because he's well put together. And if you're kind of a hater, then like your hater tendency will come out, right? Like that's just, that's like a hate, that's what haters do. If, if there's someone that is uh, better than them, I guess you could say, that's when, a, that's when a hater tendency comes out. And if that's you, like if you have a hater tendency, just know that that's your inner b You need to cut that shit out, you need to be better. But let's get back to the program. Your image uh, has a value and it shows your value, it shows how much you value yourself to the world. And I don't care, uh, you know, what your style is. You know, maybe you like listening to rock, maybe you like leather and you like, you know, bracelets, uh, you know, maybe you got nose rings and you got a mohawk, whatever, whatever your style is, it's fine. Express yourself, yes, but do it in a way that is uh, coordinated, right? It needs to be structured, right? You need to match your clothes. Like you can't have like, like, you know, you're wearing like a lime green hat and an orange shirt, you know, you look stupid. You need to coordinate yourself because it just shows a level of competency, okay? Like basic competency, you know, like they teach you this stuff in kindergarten. They teach you basic colorization in kindergarten. And here you are 32 years old and you look like you didn't learn anything and that's embarrassing you should be embarrassed and the truth is that people judge a book based on its cover okay like that's just the that's just the honest truth that is the world that we live in and you can actually take advantage of this okay you can literally manipulate people's perception of you so that you have a better life experience all right, and I'm gonna give you a couple tips so that at the end of this video, you have a little bit more game and you can get to work on it, okay? There is no lost hope. We all got hope, you got hope, so let's get to it. Iron your clothes, okay? Iron your clothes. You guys are walking around, you're, you know, th dude, this, you know how much this cost me? This was 20 bucks. I've had it for like five years. This is an old, cheap shirt, but I iron it, so when I step out the house, it looks good, right? So it's like, you know, I got white shirt, I got the black, I got the black jeans, and I'll wear my Converse, okay? Very coordinated, it's not expensive. Converse, 65 bucks, bro. Look at, look, keep them clean, keep your shoes clean, very important. Um, again, cheap, at, this is a $5 t-shirt. These $25 pants, I got all this shit at H&M. It's, you don't have to ball out. This is a very inexpensive way, but again, it's the way you put it all together. Bro, I've seen people wear designer clothes that look like shit, right? They're wearing Burberry, but they just have no idea of how to put things together. And then here I show up, I'm wearing less than hundred, less than $200 in my full outfit, no jewelry, no nothing, and I can outshine them, right? And that could be you. That's what I'm trying to help you do. Keep your shoes clean, I, I just went over that. In the olden days, this is something my father taught me. People judge a man based on how he takes care of his shoes, right? So if a man's walking around with some beat up ass shoes, you look at that man like, like you know, ew, like you got no self-respect for yourself? But if you're a man who always, you know, every time they see you, your, your shoes are clean, you're well-dressed, even if, bro, even if you're a janitor, okay? You make sure that you're 
uniform is nice and ironed and you know your shoes are clean and you just show up and you're looking your best bro and people will respect you you will have more opportunities come your way i don't care what position you're in match your colors very important we just went over that right so it's like i'm not gonna wear like if i'm wearing this outfit maybe i'll put on a um a red jersey i have a red baseball jersey a red baseball jersey goes well with this outfit right but i'm not gonna wear a red jersey some blue jeans uh, a green shirt some black shoes that's too many colors that shit is clashing it just shows that you're not sophisticated okay and you want to have a level of sophistication so that when people interact with you they respect you as a man okay and these are just basic things my brother these are i'm not trying to belittle you i'm not trying to make you feel worse you should feel bad i'm trying to help you basic grooming again you guys are walking around looking like shit. like your your beard looks like shit your hair looks like shit. you're going to super cut you're paying twenty dollars for a haircut bad very bad you should be pay if you live in america if you live in like a big city right like if you live in the bay area i live in the bay area i pay fifty dollars to my barber seventy dollars if i do my beard but now i do my own beard but i pay him fifty dollars every week that's a two hundred dollar haircut budget but it's important you want to know why because this it gives me con it's like a superpower and literally every man including you watching this every man has the potential to be handsome okay i don't care what you think you look like i don't care if your nose is big i don't care if you have big ears i don't care if you know you're cross-eyed every man has the opportunity to be handsome you just have to sculpt the marble my brother you have to go get your haircut get a nice haircut invest in yourself okay clean up those eyebrows clean up your facial hair you know the reason i do this with my facial hair is because i didn't want to keep trimming or spending money to trim the beard i had a beard for years and i realized one day where i was like you know what i look younger without a beard boom right everyone thinks i'm like 25 bro i'm like 33. by doing this you just make yourself more handsome and if you're more handsome life is a lot of it's a lot easier bro pretty privilege you know that thing that people say pretty privilege it exists it's real and you can take advantage of it again it doesn't matter what you look like i don't even care how short you are i'm short as hell bro i'm like five nine okay on a good day i get through life is chill you want to know why because i take care of myself and i spend that 200 dollars a month to get my hair cut and i match my clothes and yeah there is a small percentage of people who don't have to do this because they were born with um superior genetics but most of us me included don't have that okay if i don't get a haircut and if i don't uh tend to my facial hair i literally look like i sleep under a bridge and then people tend to avoid me okay this I mean, i'm telling you this from experience bro i have a skincare routine i got a colognes the way i shop i shop in a specific way where i don't buy expensive clothes but i buy clothes intentionally so that way no matter what i pick it always looks good right i keep my shoes clean basic stuff you, you don't have to spend money it's, it's it doesn't have to be an expensive thing and then again going back to the whole smelling good thing a hundred dollars is all you need and you can get a, a bottle of cologne that'll last you like like between three to six months a hundred dollars or less than a hundred dollars you can get a bottle of ysl yves saint laurent or you can get barfly from um scotch and soda okay either one of those will work both of those I use it myself. They're my both of those are my go-to colognes. And every time you step out the house, again, I don't care if you work at McDonald's, I don't care if you're a personal trainer, I don't care if you're a lawyer, and I don't care if you're working the oil rigs. Put that shit on. It's because you can hypnotize a person's perception of you by sculpting your image so that way you're kind of in control of what they think of you. Oh, I want someone to think I'm a serious businessman. Do you think I'm gonna show up in sweats and a hoodie? And my hairs look like no no i'm gonna show up in a suit i'm gonna show up in a nice iron suit i'm gonna i'm gonna have my pants that will be um um you know trimmed up and and hemmed up i'm gonna have some nice pants i got some nice loafers that i'd be wearing i'm gonna do my hair and i'm gonna show up with a tie on and i'm gonna walk up with my chest up my back straight and i'm gonna shake that man's hand and look him straight in his eye you get what i'm saying and then by doing that automatically first impression that he has of me is like oh this guy is a serious business guy okay and then on the other end of that and this is the more most important aspect of it on the other end of that what happens is you're giving yourself 
a, a confidence super boost because you look good because you're well groomed because you have a nice haircut because your clothes are ironed and matched and you smell good bro you just on the inside your confidence grows you get what i'm saying and then you get this kind of confidence that like like if you walked up to a woman and you try to talk to her maybe you know maybe you're not even trying to pull her but you're just like oh hey i like your purse or I, I you know oh i like your whatever you just compliment her on something if she looks at you and ignores you you'll just be like whatever you know whereas if you look like shit, if you look like shit, you're not even gonna have the confidence to talk to a woman but if you look like shit and you actually muster up the confidence and the girl looks at you like ew you're gonna feel like shit. why because you know you look like shit. Okay, so don't get fooled by society's obsession with ugliness. And you, as a man, and again, I don't care how short you are, how fat you are. If you're fat, you should start getting to work and, and, and work on that. But even if you are fat, you're starting, that's where your starting is, that's okay. You can get clothes, you can iron your clothes, you can get a good, a better haircut, you can get some cologne. You can just make sure your outfits fit you good and you can make it work. I promise you, bro. Bro, you have no idea how many opportunities you might have missed in life because you don't take care of your image and, and because image isn't, you know, you got psyoped into believing that your image isn't important. That's what it is. Because inherently we know it is, we know it. But again, society has this weird obsession of making everyone ugly, right? So you, so you lose that power, you lose that confidence. I got lucky because my father raised me with this, with ironing my clothes, with, yeah, ironing my clothes and shining my shoes, cleaning my shoes, you know, making my, making sure my skin is nice and taking care of myself. My father ingrained that in me and I got lucky to have that. But because of that, I just always noticed that no matter where I went, while I was selling drugs, while I was working in a hospital at the lowest level, um, even now, you know, I do sales in corporate and you know, I do videos like this, but for LinkedIn to, to promote the, you know, what I sell for, for my company. And I just noticed where it's like, oh my God, like if you take care of yourself and you make yourself handsome, people want to listen to you. You, that gives you, for some reason, it just gives you a little extra authority. And you watching this right now, you have the opportunity to do that, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I swear to God, I don't care what you look like, what your genetics are like, you know, how fat, short, or, 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 you know, tall, skinny, I don't care. You have the ability to cultivate an image that will not only hypnotize others to look at you in a specific way, but it'll hypnotize yourself. You'll give yourself this confidence that's unshakable. Okay, and it starts there. And then once you have that little bit of confidence, then you start having confidence in your abilities and in your talking and in your movements. You'll just start to feel a little bit smoother. You know what I mean? Like your words will just start to sound more, um, just, you just start to feel more charming because you believe that you have it in you and you do, you know? It's just, we gotta take, you gotta dig that diamond out of the dirt. You gotta dust it off a little bit, polish it up. You know what I mean? And, and, and present it to the world, you know? And that's what I'm trying to help you do. I also have a free style guide that will help you shop and it will help you understand how to match your clothes, okay? So it's in the description of this video. If you go and you look, it's free style guide. You click it completely free. I, you know, I made it for you because I genuinely believe that if you had a better image, you would get better results in life, not just with women, but with your career, um, and just opportunities in general, just that confidence it gives you. So there is a free version. It's a freestyle guide. It'll show you how with, with less than a thousand dollars, uh, you can remake your entire wardrobe. So you look a little bit better. And again, it just teaches you things about, uh, you know, uh, color coordination, uh, ironing your clothes. Um, and, and where, you know, it gives you, it tells you what cologne to buy. And then on top of that, if you want to get deeper, if you want to get a little bit more detailed and you want to learn about, you know, a skin routine, if you want to learn where to shop specifically, depending on your style and your interests, then I have a paid style and grooming blueprint. It's only $8. Totally worth it. I promise you it's totally worth it. And on top of that, if you ever have questions about any of these things, about image, about where to shop, and you know, maybe you wanna send me your outfit. I have a couple friends who, they take pictures of their outfits before they leave the house, and I have no problem responding to you and telling you, yes, this works, this doesn't work, maybe switch this with that. Reach out to me, I'm on Instagram, Miggy LaFlair, um, or reach out to me on Telegram, same name, Miggy LaFlair, it's the same as my YouTube name. Just reach out to me, 
And uh, yeah, bro, you know, like, let's get to it, bro. God doesn't like ugly, you know, and you're not ugly. I promise you, man.